last time on Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Sector 7 collapsed and we made our way back into Sector 5 to go after Aero. We also failed to defeat Leviathan for this guy. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. This time we're going to give it another try. I've changed up my materia, I've upgraded my weapons. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. And I have looked up the guide just to see if I missed anything. I didn't particularly, it's just a battle of attrition. So let's give it another try. And I was too late. Which means this is probably going to be a lot. Yep. Okay. Was there a problem? I know the system is functioning properly. There we go, staggered. Okay. Wait, what? Damn it, I did not make the stagger in time. Not a good start. Okay, at least our items reset, which is good. Oh, you only did the one. Okay. We're counting on you. Nice try, but you didn't get me this time. Where 
what is this tank that he's going to do for me? Is it going to be enough? Rest up now. I think it may have. It didn't, but I interrupted it, which is just as good. Okay, Barrett, let's get another Kuro going. And then Cloud, you need a Liberty Bell. Potion on Tifa. Okay, he's almost staggered again. Got him. That was a good choice. And again.
Here we go. Do we have enough HP to survive it? We do not. Okay. Let's move on. We'll come back to this. That was unfortunate. But remember, your limitations are only in your mind. I am going to hit you someday soon, Chadley. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Okay. Let's refix up the material then. I wonder if I had as Barrett thrown Mana Ward on, if that would have made a difference. Uh, HP up, no. Let's give you fire. Uh, back onto that. Lightning and barrier. Uh, I'll give you an ice material. And for you, uh, let's give you seal just in case. Okay, let's continue on to Aerith's house. Short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She That's was not wearing, a good description. Uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh, I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Okay. Quietly now. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. There's that chest taunting me again. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. 
Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. One of the last ancients, the Sceptre. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? A reminder that in this world, an afterlife is real and it's called the live stream and text the planet. Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. Also a reminder, Aerith can see ghosts. I didn't believe her, of course. And, and speak then, to them. A few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! Aaron. <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the Ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, 
Don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like, checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Oh, heavy stuff. That's it. That's it for this episode. Next time on Final Fantasy VII Remake, we'll make our way back to Sector 7 again.